Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of uh, the day, girl, on this beautiful and amazing 2024. Are you guys getting like already um, used to the fact that we are on 2024? Okay, like 2023 is over. I think for the, f well, not for the first time, but like in a very long time, I can say that um, I kind of like miss a little bit 2023 well i mean 2023 was not the worst years ever for me you know uh so i'm kind of like so there are pieces of them that i was like oh, i wish i was back in that moment you know but um but i have a lot of hopes high hopes for 2024 and i'm very excited for it you know so i'm hoping that you are ready to enter this year you know and like really attract all that happiness for you attract all that like wellness and health and prosperity and whatever you need to okay because today moving forward there is no excuses anymore okay there are no more holidays there are no more anything now it's time to go back to work now it's time to go back to normal no more bad eating no more bad shed you know it is time to make shed happen and i'm gonna be here with you motivating you every single day all right, I want to welcome every single one of you. If you are new here, welcome to the Beverly Troop. We have a lot of fun. We spill the tea every single day. Okay, we talk about reality TV. We talk about Bravo. We talk about pop culture. We mention it all, and we talk about everything that is happening, okay? So make sure to subscribe, 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 and hit the notification bell, guys. And let's talk about this oh, mess. Honey, girl, it is time to talk about the Real Housewives of Burberry Hills. Girl, um, let's talk about Dorit Kemsley because this is getting cray-cray. Now, we're not going to be talking about the racist scandal right now, okay? Because it's a big thing. It's a big topic. There is a lot of talk about it everywhere. You know, there is a lot of people... Canceling her. And there is a lot of people supporting her. And there is a, some people out there that have been calling Ms. Dorit Kemsley the Donald Trump of Real Housewives. And girl, messy. Okay. Now, why do you ask why the Donald Trump of Real Housewives, if you ask? According to what I'm reading, is because this conversation about race and about uh, she being called a Karen and she done understanding herself and all of that. And is is waking up so many people who has racist behaviors and who has been on the shadows and she is kind of like giving them a voice, kind of like what happened before, okay? So uh, that's what I'm reading on the comments, especially on X, you know, like a lot of people are, like who defend Dorit Kemsley are people who are being openly racist, who are being openly homophobic, who are being openly weird. OK, and this has nothing to do with being a Republican, because I have met a lot of people who are Republicans, but are not assholes, you know. So uh, it's 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 all about <clears throat> you know I don't even I like I don't like I don't want to go too much into that but that's just what people are saying out there they are calling to read to Trump of Real Housewife because it's giving a voice to a lot of people who usually are in the shadows but anyways moving in from one cancellation of Dorit Kemsley to another scandal of Dorit Kemsley guys. I don't know what is happening with Miss Dorit. Like, does is she trying to destroy herself? But Dorit is right now, or was, I don't know, in London doing this uh, Peter Pan uh, uh, play, you know, theater play thing, you know, with Boy George and all of that. And a lot of people are calling her out, okay? Apparently, she was promised to be on a bunch of shows a across the UK, you know, and for a very long time, they did promotion, they sell tickets like crazy, a lot of her fans from everywhere were like buying the tickets to go and see her, 
only for her to cancel every single one of those shows except for London. Uh huh, girl. So I want to give a shout out to Face Reality 16, who is bringing us that mini dive time of Dorit Kemsley and Peter Pan. Okay, so she says, um, okay, so looking into some of the comments, you know, from the, the plane itself, there was a lot of people saying, good luck, shame you never made it to Glasgow after being advertised on all of the promo. Another person says, didn't you come to Aberdeen either? Another person says, same with Birmingham. We bought tickets after it was advertised incorrectly. Then uh, Face Reality 16 is showing us um, a picture that says, back in May, when tickets went on sale, it was originally advertised that Dorit will be at all of the performances for this show, including uh liver acc liverpool cardiff international arena resort wall arena in birmingham pnj pnj life arena on aberdeen ovo hydra arena in glasgow motor point arena in nottingham and event team apollo in london okay but then a couple some weeks before what should have been her first show she nonchalantly announces she's only doing the London shows. And she said back in that time, in November 14, I'm so excited to announce I'll be joining my friends Boy George and the rest of the incredible cast of Peter Pan production in London at Hammerstein Apollo on January 5th, 6th, and 7th. This will, this will be my first live theater performance as I'll be playing Miss Darling and the mermaid who bring Tinker Bell to life. Go to peterpantics.com for blah, 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 you know? Now, ticket holders were quick to respond with their disappointment. Someone says, it's such a shame you were advertised across the whole tour. We did a three-hour round trip thinking we will be able to see you in the show. So upsetting. Another person says, yep, I agree. I tried to get a refund and I was refused. Another person says, the manager of... The WGBPL gave me her email address and said to email her to get a refund or the production team can give tickets to another show. She said that she was told to read back out a week after announcement due to TV commitments and what I was then pulled from all advertising, which obviously wasn't true, seeing as she's on the cover of the program and also on the banners in the theater. Girl. Angry fan, there is a there is a whole like article that says angry fans react after Dory Kemsley cancels Glasgow Panto appearance. An Instagram post shared by the Ovo Hydro on Wednesday, May 10, confirmed Dorit was set to appear in the show while her husband Paul Kemsley also shared a post on the same day announcing Dorit will join the show on tour across the UK. But in a post shared on Instagram yesterday, Dorit announced she will only be doing performance in London. And the messages are non stopping. You know, it says, Only reason we bought tickets for Glasgow was because of you. Got it, you weren't there. The show was actually rubbish, to be honest. Did not enjoy it. And the guy playing Peter Pan was a pain in the ass. Mm. I miss seeing you in Glasgow. So, got it. Another person says, was so disappointing to miss, uh, me, to miss you in Glasgow. Another person says, shame you didn't make it to Glasgow as advertised. Girl, people are going on it, you know. Never came to any of the other dates you were advertised for. The show is terrible. I wouldn't waste your time. Bye, Karen. Shame you canceled Glasgow tour and never thought about mentioning to any of the fans. Disgraceful. Another person says, it's a shame you were at Blackpool as advertised. Shame you didn't make it to Glasgow. Girl, I mean, it just keeps going and going. And also, people are starting to do reviews on her show, who was actually in London, that she was there. Apparently, it was bad. I'm not talking about her performance. I'm talking about the whole show in general. But people are saying that her performance in um in london like she tried to do the british accent during the whole thing you know and they are calling her 
out for it. They're saying that she sounds like a bad New Jersey accent. I mean, there are videos everywhere. The whole thing is insane, as always, with Miss Dorit. Why? I mean, it's obvious that they were trying to put her everywhere to sell the tickets. But, like, do you really think that people were just not going to say absolutely anything? Come on. And Dorit, I'm so sorry. There are no excuses. That's your face out there. So you need to respond for that. It is what it is. So anyways, let me know what you guys think on the comments below. And if you want to get all the tea related to The Real House with Beverly Hills or any of the other Bravo shows, or if you, uh, uh, before all of this, guys, if you are in UK and got any info on this, let us know in the comments below. So don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.